Hello and welcome. I am Vipul Mittal. Let's discuss a multiple choice question on comparative financial statements. In the context of comparative financial statements, if the prior period financial statements were not audited, reviewed or compiled, the auditor should do what? You have four answer options. In the context of comparative financial statements, if the prior period financial statements were not audited, reviewed or compiled, what you should do? For example, you are the auditor and you are auditing year 8 financial statements. Now management is presenting year 7 financial statements for comparison purpose. So for comparison purpose, year 7 financial statements are presented along with year 8 financial statements. And you are the auditor for year 8 financial statements. You are auditing year 8 financial statements. Year 7 financial statements are not audited. They are also not reviewed. They are also not compiled. What you should do? Let's look at the answer options. Express an adverse opinion on the current period financial statements. No, you do not have any reason to express an adverse opinion on the current period financial statements. Just because last year financial statements were not audited or reviewed or compiled, this does not mean that you express an adverse opinion on the current period financial statements. So, no, this is not what you would do. Answer option B, do not express an opinion on the current period financial statements. Why you would not do that? You would certainly express an opinion on the current period financial statements if you have sufficient appropriate audit evidence for your opinion on current period financial statements. So if you have sufficient appropriate audit evidence for your opinion on the current period financial statements, you would certainly express an opinion. Just because last year financial statements were not audited or reviewed or compiled, it is not that you would not express an opinion on current period financial statements. So this is also not the answer. Express an opinion on the current period financial statements and include an emphasis of matter paragraph. Not really. You will not include an emphasis of matter paragraph. Yes, you will express an opinion on the current period financial statements, but you would not include an emphasis of matter paragraph. But you would include an other matter paragraph. So you express an opinion on current period financial statements and include an other matter paragraph. You do not include an emphasis of matter paragraph because this matter relates to audit. This matter relates to the auditor's report. This matter does not relate to the financial statements. Also section 700 of the auditing standards asks you to include an other matter paragraph in this situation. So you would include an other matter paragraph. And in this other matter paragraph, you will make the situation very clear. You will specify the situation. You will make it clear that you have not audited or reviewed or compiled last year's financial statements. And you assume no responsibility for last year's financial statements. You will make that very clear in your auditor's report. How? By including an other matter paragraph. And this other matter paragraph states that you have not audited the last year's financial statements you have not reviewed the last year financial statement. You have not compiled the last year financial statements. Also, you do not assume any responsibility for last year financial statements. And you include all this in other matter paragraph. So if prior period financial statements were not audited, reviewed or compiled, you express an opinion on current period financial statements only and include an other matter paragraph in your report. All right, students, we'll connect again. Goodbye.